Hey, in this video, I want to take a look at this product called Infinity. It's in beta, but it's really powerful as you'll see. It talks about organizing anything, task, documents, events, CRM, and I'm going to show you how they do that, and it's, it is extremely flexible, so, so stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at this project management tool called Infinity. It's startinfinity.com. It's early. They're in beta right now, but you know me. I love to take a look at uh, new project management tools, and I like their branding. They got a great website, um, and if I look at this screenshot here, it looks kind of like Airtable um, a, a little bit. So we're going to get in here and see. It talks a lot about integrations and things like that. So let's actually go through their early access uh, and get access to their beta and do their onboarding and see what happens. So I'm going to sign up as TechSmart Boss, as I always do, and create an account. There's nothing on their website that talks about pricing or anything yet. So everything is um, beta uh, from that perspective. So this is free at the moment. So it's always good to get in early. Um, and you might get a grandfathered account. So now let's see, it's asking me what my productivity stack is. So this is probably going to be more of a learning exercise for them. But you know, you Slack, you know, we love that. Pocket, G Drive, uh, a lot of good tech smart boss apps here. We've talked about ClickUp in the past and Asana and Trello. And I just mentioned Airtable. We've done a video on Todoist. I'm just going to click everything. How about that? I won't be any use to their segmentation because I checked them all. All right, what are we going to use Infinity for? Let's say, well, let's just do Solopreneur. Again, it'll be interesting if this is actually used for anything or just for capturing information on their behalf so they can learn their customer and, and build personas. What's your industry? Let's put in here technology. I like the way they have that drop down list with the uh, icons there. Again, looking very much like an air table type of thing. What's your field of work? Uh, I'm just going to put owner. And then they're going to want some avatar. I'm just going to stick with the default stuff for now. Let's give this a workspace a name. Tech Smart Boss. And I'm going to just stick with the generic logo for now. All right, give your first board a name. Let's call this my uh, to-do list. Just for lack of creativity. And I will even get to pick a color. Okay, so definitely they've got some onboarding here. Let's see where that all takes me. Even more, what are you going to do? What are you going to organize in your board? Um, so they've got, this is what I noticed, that they've got lots of different things you could do, which I really like. I'm just going to organize a task list. One thing I do notice, you can import from Trello, which is really great. They're targeting Trello clearly um, out the gate. So now it says your workspace is almost ready. It will take less than a minute. Let's take a look and see what happens here. Now, while we're waiting on that, it looks like they give us some ideas on what we can do with their product. And hey, look at that. We are in. Fantastic. It's got my color and it's got everything that we talked about. Now, I'm going to skip through their inline help here. I would probably spend more time there, and I probably should for this video. But you know me. I like to just jump right in and see how intuitive a product is. And right away, I can see that I've got my to-do list This is at an overview. It's built me some stages, upcoming, to-do, doing, and done, already out of the box. I've got a couple of folders here. Let's take a look. Backlog, current task, archive. So... I like the fact that they've kind of populated a bunch of examples for me to kind of click around and look. If I were to click on one of these, I can see it pops up a sidebar here where I can see all the different attributes about it. Um, looks very much like Trello from that perspective of the way they've got their kind of icons here in this sidebar panel. Um, very much like a, a Trello from that perspective. Now, Let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and now I, I saw in their demo video that the concept here is you could build yourself folders and you can add in tasks. You can create attributes for those tasks. And then on the tabbed approach here, you can build different views for that. So, for example, let's say if we want to build in a column view and choose, let's just choose uh, based on stage. 
And you'll see how now I've got that column type of view for these items. Let's do another one. Let's do a table view. And now I've got a table view. That's where I, I kind of saw that air table type of look. And that's really easy and really fast to do. And you can see some coming soon. So that's nice. We're going to get the timeline. Let's just do calendar view. Very nice. Now let's go and click into some. I want to build a new board from scratch. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we overview gives me a nice overview look as well. Let me show you what I could do with this. I'm going to build a new board. And let's go to my dashboard. And you'll see here I can have multiple boards. Looks like I can even have multiple teams. Let's create a new board from scratch. I'm just going to call it from scratch. And I can make it private. I can make it for the team. I can invite members. And I'll do all that stuff that we talked about there. Hello. Let's close down that auto prompt. And now it gives me the ability to have templates. So again, this is where we saw from the onboarding. I'm going to do a list template from scratch. And let's get one where it doesn't have any of that preloaded stuff already in it. And I'm assuming if it's from scratch, it won't. Okay, perfect. All right, so now let's say I need to go buy some groceries. I'm going to be real simple on this. I'm going to just do what's on top of my head. And I do need to buy some groceries right now. And let's say I need to eat some lunch because I'm hungry. All right, so I'm, I'm adding some items. What I notice you can do is over here, you can start to add attributes to these tasks. And this is where it's very much like a, reminds me of back when you used to build like Fox Pro and, 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 and Visual Studio type of things. But let's say I want to click on that, add an attribute. Here you can see I can pick all these sorts of things. Check by, let's say I want to put a date, start date. I add that. Let's uh, add a new one. Let's add a end date. Let's add a checklist. Item one. And I can add uh, do this, do that, and this. And you can see I'm starting to build a checklist. So as I add these attributes, they're actually adding them as well let's add one more let's add a assignee or members I saw that members and they give you some little options there and uh, assignee I'll call it alright so you can see you can build these things and then now as I kinda click on these cards I can set those things up so I can set a date for that particular task I can add myself as do you see how that pops in there so it's really flexible. It's almost like you're custom designing and building your own project management system here. And, and you know, I, I kind of like that because I always tell people on the podcast, you know, don't let technology drive your process. Let your process drive technology. And this seems to be a very flexible environment where you can build really any process that you want and then build your views, invite your team and, and, and do work. So I really do like that. One, one negative on that, that could be kind of confusing for, for a person that's coming in without a lot of experience in project management and not knowing how to set things up right. So that's great for the experienced person. It's not as great for um, the novice. And I think they've got a lot of out-of-the-box type of stuff. No, that's what those those templates were. If I go back to boards and do new, I think that's where, uh, I think that's where all these pre-box ones come from to help the novice user. So let's do, let's do one of these. Let's do a meeting one and see what they pop in a little bit separately. And now you'll see here I've got the meeting list. These attributes have already been added, which are somewhat needed for meetings, descriptions, dates, attendees, location. And they've got the calendars. That's nice. I really like how they give you all these templates. Plus they let you build from scratch. And that's powerful. I mean, that's really powerful. This is a really well done um, solution. Now let's go back and look at some of the settings. And where did I see? There it is. Settings. Okay, nothing really there yet except for the team name and the team members that you can do. So not a lot under settings. Let's look under our profile. Not a lot there yet. Security. Alright, so is this beta? So I'm, I'm assuming in those areas they're going to come out with a lot more features, but it looks like really everything is right in here and you can search there's an activity log I like that that's kinda of like a timeline with some filtering capability by member by your folder 
uh, and let's see what you can customize so you can turn things on and off so if you don't want to see you, you can show or hide there that's nice that's showing me my check boxes my signy so that's just turning off things that I see in this view so I like this I mean this is beta I would say this is something that you can definitely use now and if you're in the market this is uh, probably a good time to jump on board and take a look at this product uh, I don't know a lot about the team that just came across my email and I decided to take a look and jump right in but uh, I, I like it now it looks like I can do some security on team members so I got team members I can invite a person to a specific board or I can make them an admin in my account and that's nice too security would be important for this type of product hey check this out this is really nice start infinity.com get involved with the beta give them some feedback let them know what you think about it and explore and see how this can you know really change the way you do your 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 project management in your organization if you like this video be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel we come out with one every week and also check out our Facebook page we're doing a lot of fun stuff and posting stuff over there as well I'll talk to you on the next video